Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Bo Blakely. I am a pediatric and family wellness chiropractor. And I'm just going to wait a little bit for just a quick few seconds here, let a few people trickle on. Hi, Carly. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Anyone that jumps on late, this is always going to be available. We'll keep it on our page. Um, you'll be able to find it under the video section. But we're going to go ahead and just get started here. So like I said, I'm Dr. Bo. I'm a pediatric and family wellness chiropractor at The Wellness Path. And we are a family chiropractic office. So family chiropractic office means we are seeing a lot of new building families, right? A lot of pregnant moms, a lot of babies, a lot of kiddos. We do absolutely see adults too. We get that question a lot uh, when we say, you know, we specialize in pediatrics and pregnancy, but we do absolutely see adults, your regular adults too. So um, we are located in LaGrange, Illinois. So for those of you that are um, local, um, looking outside right now, it looks like the rain has stopped, but we've been having some pretty crazy weather lately. We had a, a week of absolute beautiful sunshine. All of a sudden, then we had a couple inches of snow last weekend, and now this week we got blessed with some awesome rain to make sure the grass is nice and green uh, for the upcoming transitional season of springtime. But with that transition of all this weather going on, um, you know, that snow, the rain, the sun, crazy Midwest Chicago weather, um, certainly not the California weather I was used to. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was out in California the last five, four years, um, going to chiropractic school and practicing out there. But um, and, and California has its own issues with the weather. Um, but during these transition periods of weather, we do see increases in sickness, in asthma, and allergies, and head colds, ear infections, um, you name it, right? During these transition periods, our body is having to deal with these external changes the, and uh, sometimes may not handle it quite so well. So what we're going to focus on specifically tonight is going to be asthma and allergies. Um, but really, you can group all these things together, food allergies, asthma, seasonal allergies, year-round allergies, ear infections. Um, really, you can group them all into a immune system deficiency um, problem. And we're going to touch on that in just a bit. Um, if you see me glancing, I do have some notes tonight just to keep me on track. I, sometimes, you know, I could get on a soapbox here, but I want to get this information to you clear, concise, um, should only be maybe 15, 20 minutes tonight. Um, and I just want to get the information to you. If you have more questions, feel, feel free to engage, feel free to comment on this or reach out to me um, or us at the Wellness Path, and we can always answer those questions specifically for you and your family. But... Um, I just want to start the question is, you know, if, if you're one of those families that this time of year comes around and all of a sudden, and you know that that means we've got those dry eyes coming, we've got the runny nose, um, we've got the, the chronic constant cough or, or scratchy throat, or you're running to the store and you're, you know, um, building up the supply of your Claritin, Flonase, Zyrtec, whatever else out there there is to um, help deal with these allergies. Um, this is going to be something that you're going to want to listen to. And some of the things we've been hearing around the office um, are things such as, you know, we don't want to put our child on another dose of antibiotics, another dose of steroids, or another breathing treatment. Or, you know, ask, starting to ask the question during this time of year, how do we support our body naturally during this transition time? And or things like, you know, we, we're always sick at this time of year. We always have allergies. Why? What, what's going on? What can I do to help my kiddos or myself deal with this, this springtime allergies, these seasonal allergies a little bit better? Um, or why am I sick? Why are, why are my kids sick, but you know their classmates are not? Or why are one of my kids sick? Why are one of my kids dealing with seasonal allergies, but the other one's not, and they do everything the same? Right? Or, or what is what maybe they're looking down the road a little bit and they're thinking, what is this fear of a weakened or suppressed immune system? What does that mean for my health later down the road? And so as we address, you know, all of these tonight, if you have a question that comes up, feel free to just throw it on the comments. Um, and I will either answer it at the end or I will message you um, directly after we're all over. Um, but this is really why I, I'm doing this on live Facebook is so that 
I can give you this kind of foundational understanding of what's going on. And then if there's specific questions for you and your family, we can answer those as well. So um, as we get started here, the first key point to kind of set the stage for everything we're going to talk about tonight is really just that you were not born. No one was born. Your kid was not born. You were not born with a good or a bad immune system, right? It's all just about your system's ability to adapt to that external environment. Now, there are things that play a role in that, absolutely, that maybe give you a head start or maybe give you not a head start in terms of building that immune system, but that's not what this is about today. Um, and so what we're going to talk about tonight is just ask yourself that question, why? Right? Why are some sick but others not? Right? Why do some have allergies or asthma but others not? Right? Even within the same family, we see it here all the time in the office, is – Within the same family who we knew, we know and are exposed to the same external environment, right? They're exposed to the same pollen. They're exposed to the same transitional periods, the same weather outside. So why is it that some are getting sick, some are getting allergies, but others are not? Hello, Drew. Um, so it's got to be that our internal environment, right? That's the only thing that's different. If the external environment's the same, it's especially within the same family, right? They're even eating the same foods. They're doing everything the same. It's got to be that internal environment that is making the difference. So the key system that is responsible for regulating and maintaining your internal environment and the adaptability factor within your internal environment, the ability to adapt to these changing external circumstances is your nervous system. Now, your nervous system is also that system that just so happens to be directly influenced by a chiropractic adjustment but more on that a little bit later. So for those of you that are new to the page or maybe haven't seen some of the material that we're always talking about here at the Wellness Path, I want to just very quickly give you a brief overview of what your nervous system is and what it does. Um, your nervous system basically consists of your brain, right? It goes down to your spinal cord. It all of those nerves that then go out to all of different aspects of your body, right? So each nerve is going to go to a specific end organ, whether that be your liver, whether that be your pancreas, gallbladder, lungs, heart, you name it. And one of those, not necessarily a, um, not necessarily a maybe organ, but your immune system is also controlled by the nervous system, right? So all of those organs it doesn't mean that they're going to just be completely shut off if those nerves aren't working. But if those ner nerves are not working at 100%, it can cause an endless amount of symptoms, right? So it all comes back to the nervous system, that overall controlling system of the body. So not only does your nervous system control all those end organs, including your immune system, but it's also going to control how well you, how you perceive and thus adapt and respond to your external environment. So I won't get too much into the, you know, dive deeper into the immune system or the nervous system. Um, but what I really want you to know is that there's two parts of your nervous system, right? Parasympathetic and sympathetic are the medical terms. Here at the Wellness Path, we talk about it kind of like a gas pedal and a brake pedal. So you have two parts of your nervous system. That gas pedal is your, 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 your stress, right? Your stress response, overwhelm. They call it your fight or flight system. Whereas your brake pedal is going to be your de-stress, rest, repair, growth, and maturation for the kiddos. And sure enough, the immune system is controlled by that brake pedal system. So really, really important to have that balance. So here at the Wellness Path, we have state-of-the-art nervous system scanning technology to look for that balance, as well as to find if there's any stress built up in that nervous system, where exactly it is, and what end organs that could be affecting without you even knowing it. Right, so we're also going to get to see, are you stuck in gas pedal? Are you stuck in brake pedal? Is there a nice balance? We can see that with all the scanning that we do here. And what we can really just gauge is that a, whether you, that lack of balance in a nervous system is going to lead to a lack of balance in the immune system, which is going to lead to a weakened, slow, less strong, less resilient, and less adaptable immune system. So now that we've established right, that this nervous system is the overarching system, which controls the immune system and the balance of it and how you perceive and react to the, your external environment, it really tells us that the nervous system is going to be in control of what our body does internally when we come in contact with anything externally, 
whether that be pollen, whether that be the weather, whether that be grass, whether that be whatever it may be, animals that anyone can be allergic to. So what I did is I looked up the definitions of allergy and asthma, and I just want to read them to you here. So I got these in my notes. So allergy, Google, Google knows all, right? So a condition caused by hypersensitivity of the immune system to typically harmless substances in the environment. So your internal environment is overreacting to your external environment to things that most of the time would not need an overreaction. And we've got the definition of asthma here, which it can, they kind of weren't exactly sure, according to Google, what exactly causes asthma, but it's a condition most likely caused by a combination of environmental and genetic factors. Now, genetic factors may always play a role, um, but especially in today's day and age, as science continues to come out, it's really more about those epigenetics as opposed to the genetics. That's a whole different talk. Um, so um, again, both allergies and asthma, to me, those definitions sounds like the inability for our internal environment to properly perceive, adapt, and overcome the external environment. You may hear a train in the background in my external environment right now. Um, we are located right next to the track, right now off of downtown LaGrange. But um, so anyways, allergies and asthma, the definitions are basically saying we are not reacting to our external environment in the most advantageous way. So because the nervous system is in con direct control of that immune system and how it reacts, we have to make sure that our nervous system is balanced so that the immune system is balanced so that it can react in a proper way to our external environment. So I've been going for about 11, 12 minutes now, and you may be asking, why the heck is a chiropractor talking about all this? What can chiropractic do to help balance the nervous system and the immune system and allow, maybe alleviate some of these symptoms that a lot of people out here and a lot of people we've been talking to in the office are experiencing this time of year? So the answer to that is, as I mentioned earlier, there's a couple things. As I mentioned earlier, the nervous system is directly affected um, by a chiropractic adjustment. Especially here, we specialize in the nervous system. We do a ton of neurological testing. I talked about our state-of-the-art nervous system testing scanning. We also do some what we would call some functional neurological testing where we're doing coordination, balance, and looking at your right brain versus your left brain and all this different stuff. We do a very extensive neurological exam on your first visit. So we even specialize in that nervous system more than your, your average chiropractor may. But really at the core base of chiropractic, every single chiropractor who's adjusting is directly affecting your nervous system. And the studies actually show that a four, there's a 48% boost in your immune, immune system for the, the following 24 to 48 hours after a chiropractic adjustment. So really cool stuff, right? Groundbreaking research there that most people don't realize is that every time you're adjusted for the next day to two, your immune system is boosted higher than it is and is going to be more adaptable to your environment, be stronger and be able to overcome anything that you may come in contact with. Now, I do want to just put out there that it is important to note that one, chiropractic does not treat any symptom, illness, or disease. So we don't treat allergies or asthma. Instead, like I've been talking about, we make sure that the immune system is boosted so that it can overcome any of these asthma, allergies, you name it, that, that ear infections, food sensitivities that a lot of people, unfortunately, are dealing with more and more today. And we're seeing more and more commonly in our office that kids and families walking in are looking for help with this kind of thing. The second thing is that it doesn't necessarily mean that allergies and asthma are just going to disappear right? We can't just completely change how those that come in into our office experience health. We can't just make them these like robotic, invincible human beings that just don't get sick ever anymore, right? They're still going to come in contact and every once in a while our immune system, our nervous system may lose that battle. But what happens is, yeah, they make it symptoms, but they are recovering from so much quicker. So we have kids in the office, yeah, they still get sick, but a day, two days, and they're recovered, right? As opposed to, you know, they're telling stories about maybe their friends or other families that, that got the same thing that lasted weeks, right? Or we hear it all the time. Mom and the kiddos are in the office. Whole family gets sick. Mom and kiddos, within a day or two, are back to normal. Dad, on the other hand, doesn't come into the office, and he's sick for a week, right? And so that's most often the cases. We're not just going to make these things disappear, although 
there are occasionally times where that does happen too. And I wanted to share a story with you all tonight that actually I just heard Monday it was, I think. So just a few days ago in the office, we were going over a re-exam with the patient, right? He's a high school kid. He's a high school boy. Came in because he's having some back pain. He's a, he's a football player. He's a wrestler. And so he needed to make sure that, you know, doesn't want that back pain, right? Totally get it. Totally get it. So his goal, main goal was to get rid of his back pain and improve his posture. So a month in, right, where we go over his re-exam, we revisit these goals. No more back pain, check. Comes back here and there, but for the most part, check. It was constant before. Better posture, check. He's even had parents, teachers, and friends let him know that his posture is better. But sure enough, what does he say? Is that this time of year, him and his mom were the unlucky ones in the family who were always dealing with these seasonal allergies. Right? It was that time of year. And he's been coming just for a month. And what happens is mom is having all these symptoms, right? She's getting those drives, the run, constant runny nose. She's having to take the over-the-counter allergy meds. And at this time of year, he was always with her. They were getting the same stuff. He's got, he's got a, uh, a brother, a sister, and, and, and dad, obviously. And they don't get them. But mom and, mom and him had always had these symptoms. And sure enough, so far this year, he hasn't had them. Now, knock on wood here, but it may still come about. But so far, he hasn't had any of those symptoms that he's had for as long as he can remember. But mom, who's not in the office, not getting adjusted, hasn't gotten or has gotten those symptoms. Meanwhile, he hasn't, right? And I talked to him. I made him swear to me. I said, you're not doing anything different. You're sure? He's like, yeah, doc, I'm not doing anything different. Only what I'm doing is what, we, what we're doing in here, all the work we're doing in here, right? So really, really cool stuff. And we hear these stories all the time. Right? It's not that we're curing anything, but we're just boosting the immune system every single time you're in here. And all of a sudden, the nervous system and the immune system get that increased ability to adapt to everything that's going on in the external environment. So as we start to kind of wrap up here, what can you do to increase your adaptability and ultimately your immunity? The most important thing, if you didn't see this coming, go back and watch the previous 17 minutes, but the most important thing is make sure that your nervous system is scanned for stress, right? As I mentioned earlier, we have state-of-the-art nervous system scanning equipment here in the office where we are able to detect where is that stress, is it what end organs may it be affecting, including the immune system, and which side of your nervous system might be utilizing or stuck in more, that gas pedal, right, that stress response, or that brake pedal, that de-stress, rest, repair, and all important immune system along with healing of the body the brake pedal is responsible for all of that so if you're stuck in that gas pedal mode you're not going to be experiencing the life the full effects of the life that you want to live right so when we do these scans it tells me can I help if there's not stress in the immune system or you're perfectly balanced maybe this isn't the place for you but if you come in and get scanned we're going to be able to tell you exactly what's going on in that immune system and what we can do to help the other option um, another thing you can do to increase your adaptability and immunity is wellness chiropractic care. Now, believe it or not, many of the patients, many of the families, many of the kiddos in our office maybe aren't dealing with symptoms like allergies, asthma, ear infections, colic, breastfeeding difficulties, ADD, ADHD, a lot of the things that we see. But no, instead, they just want to come in because they realize that chiropractic care can be their method of proactive health. Right? Life is stressful, even for kiddos. And that's not going to change. And so what we have to make sure is that your nervous system is able to deal with and adapt with those lifestyle stressors that each and every one of us is dealing with on a daily basis and so that it can be healthy and it can avoid sickness down the road. The third thing that we implement here um, that I'm not going to talk too much about but I did just want to touch on is the other kind of core pillars of health. That can be something that can increase your adaptability and immunity. So when I talk about pillars of health, I'm talking nutrition, right, and, and gut health, microbiome exercise, mindset, sleep, right? All these super important things that are really important to building this really strong internal environment that can then be resilient and adaptable to our external environment. But we have to start with the nervous system because as I mentioned, the nervous system controls, right? Your gut, how your gut processes all your food. It controls your muscles and how they respond to exercise. And so it's impossible for any other system in your body to be imbalanced if your nervous system is not in balance. So nervous system is always the place to start, right? So um, when it comes to all these other pillars of health, actually, 
we actually do put on a new patient orientation for every new patient that walks into our office that we're rolling out actually this month of May. We're going to have it all revamped where we touch all of these different pillars. And so we can then work together, right? We get make sure your nervous system is in balance. And we know that because we do these rescans every 12 visits. So we can track how your nervous system is responding to these adjustments and make sure that it's getting balanced. Make sure that it has more energy. Make sure that the subluxations or miscommunications from your brain through the spinal cord to all the nerves and to those end organs are getting removed so that your body can function as optimally as it possible can. When we know that, then we can move on to those lifestyle factors and we can track all of those different things, right? But really, what it comes down to at the end of the day is creating a healthy, adaptable, balanced nervous system that allows you to create not only a healthy but a thriving internal environment. Right? That's really what it's all about. What it's all about. So what it comes down to at the end of the day is creating a healthy, resilient, and adaptable internal environment so that you can fight off anything going on externally, right? Whether it be stress, whether it be work, finances, pollen, cold, flu, food allergies, ear infections, you name it, right? We want to create that powerful, strong, and adaptable, resilient internal environment so you don't have to worry about what your external environment brings. So I just want to end today by letting us know, please do reach out. Let us know. Um, I see a couple of comments here. No questions as of yet, which is great. Um, and so just let us know how we can facilitate, how we here at the Wellness Path can facilitate that process for you and your family, as we have for so many other families here in the LaGrange and surrounding areas that we're so honored to take care of. How can we facilitate that process of getting you started on track to make sure that you and your kiddos' nervous systems is balanced, is stress-free, is healthy, vibrant, happy, and creating that really strong and resilient internal environment. So I want you to remember that we are a family practice, right? We see this stuff all the time. We specialize in this stuff, right? It's not just, I'm not getting on here just to talk about this because it's something that I've heard chiropractic can help with. We see this in the office every single day. And that's why I wanted to do this webinar tonight is because we hear all these stories, right? We hear families walking into the office. We hear it all too often. Oh, I wish I would have known about this earlier. I didn't know chiropractic could help with that. I thought chiropractic was just back pain, neck pain, and headaches. And so I want to put this information out there and let you know that we can help and let you know that what we can do naturally to boost your immune system, overcome that external environment, and get these amazing results that can literally change the way that you and your family live your life. And we'd love to make that possible for you and your family as we do for all of these other families that are in here on a weekly basis, making sure that they get those nervous system boosting, those immune system boosting adjustments so that they don't have to, they can deal with those external environments, be adaptable, be resilient, and all of a sudden those symptoms that are allergies, asthma, harder to breathe, um, runny eyes, runny nose, dry eyes, dry throat, cough, you name it, all of a sudden they start to go away. So. Before I sign off, I just want to make sure we don't have any questions here. Thank you all for tuning in. Hi, Carly, Nancy, Don, Drew. Thank you very much for tuning in. And um, if you have any specific questions, this is kind of that base, right, that base understanding, that foundation. If you have any specific questions related to you, your kiddos, your family, just reach out to us. Please do. Send us a direct message. You can send us an email over at info at visitthewellnesspath.com. Give us a call at 708-497-2441. Just let us know how we can help, right? How we can facilitate that process of getting you and your family's nervous systems to make sure that they're balanced, stress-free, and resilient to this external environment that everyone is dealing with right now, but why are only some people getting sick, right? And it's that internal environment. So we want to make sure that you and your fam family have that strong, resilient, and adaptable internal environment so that no matter what's going on outside, it doesn't affect you and your family's daily life. So... I hope, thank you all for tuning in. I, th I hope you learned, learned a little something tonight. If you maybe had a big takeaway, throw it in the comments here um, or let us know what it was. And uh, thank you again for joining me. And then, of course, as always, from all of us, myself, Dr. Bo, and everyone else here at The Wellness Path, be well, live well. The choice is yours.